welcome back to Pro Edge Build Training. This is a little bit more further and deeper into the job manager. We just got done discussing the notes and how we can attach files and notes and anything you want to the project. You see here there's notifications, they show up here, there's work orders that show up here, the contracts show up here. Uh, any notes that you want to add, the office wants to add, or the homeowner adds will actually show up here. So let's go ahead. We're going to actually, I'm going to sh sh uh, test that a little bit. We are going to close out the, the job manager. We're going to log out. I think we've got 1009 is the login for Nancy Hughes. Her password is her last name. And basically, any messages, those are the notes. So the project notes, right here. Remember we added the we will not be home, and it was viewable by the homeowner and the subcontractor. We added the landscape contract that is viewable by the, uh, the homeowner as well. This is the interface for the customer, and this is what the customer sees. So anything that you put, you don't want visible by the customer, they will not see it. As you can see, they can also track through their phases. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and test this and add a note. Um, please make sure you get the uh, flagstone in the peach color. I talked with Joe on this. And we're going to add a note. So we're going to go ahead and log out, and we're logging back in as, a, as your user or admin. We're going to head back over to Jobs and Nancy Hughes, and then we're going to check out her notes. Right there, we've got the homeowner as the author. We've got the note, we've got no attachments, and then the time that she actually added the note viewable by the homeowner but let's say the homeowner added that and we want to take that off of there or do something uh, or we want to show the subcontractor and now we want him to view it or there's a picture uh, regarding that note we can actually attach a file into a picture there's a job site picture of the flagstone color which is right there and we're going to upload that I think that's a pretty good size file so it might take a few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and abort that. because Oh, there it goes. Um, there's the picture that shows up, and the homeowner can actually see that picture. So at this point, uh, since this is an act active job, I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to actually clear out some of these notes, some of these in-floor plans, and the actual... Uh, makeshift contract and we're going to move all over to the equipment tab. The equipment tab is actually pretty cool. This is a way to track all the equipment that we're putting in on the, at the project. So when we're building a pool or we're doing a landscape project or something where it's got a pumps, filters, mist systems, all that stuff, we can go through here and add, uh, you know, we got pool and spa lights. We've got uh, Jandy products will come up first, then Hayward, then Pentair. But we've got our Intellibrite pool light. And we can tell the date installed. Let's say 2-15-02-15-2011. We can put in the serial number here and this. And we put in any comments. This has no warranty because it was provided by client. And we can click submit. We can put in our remote controls, which are our Easy Touch and IntelliTouch. All that is here. Easy Touch, single cell, body, date installed, 02 16 2011, serial number, and no comments. And that's added to the list. We can close it and all of the equipment is added to the list right here.